And uh, so welcome. I am delighted to see you. Uh, not sure if my video is working okay. It seems to be a little hit and miss at the moment, but we'll keep going just in case. Um, so I wanted to just welcome you. It's been a while since I posted a video and I recognize that I have, we moved this spring. I've been busy with weddings and uh, marketing and I changed from a simple business, um, doing business as or a trade name to an LLC. So there's been a lot happening behind the scenes. Um, one of the things that comes up though a lot is, um, you know, as an officiant, most of you know that I officiate primarily elopements and um, intimate weddings. So weddings generally less than 50 people, um, which during this time of COVID-19 um, has meant that my weddings, while I have um, had to postpone a few, um, most of my weddings have actually taken place and I'm still getting weddings coming in for this year. Um, so I've stayed fairly busy with that. Thank goodness. I'm very, very grateful. Um, but uh, what that actually means is then, you know, people are wondering what, what does an officiant do? So most of my weddings are outdoors, smaller weddings, and there's stuff you always have to bring. If you're going to be an outdoor wedding officiant in the Pacific Northwest, um, you can imagine some basic things you always need to bring is maybe a coat, especially in the fall or the winter, some boots, hats, gloves, um, you know, you want to be prepared for whatever weather comes along, um, your script, um, microphone, those types of things. So I figured what today, I, would, I get this question a lot, so I just figured today I would come on and I would show you some of the things that I am getting ready to take to uh, my wedding for this weekend. And then I have another one coming up on the 5th. So I have to kind of get everything all ready. And I figured why not take some time to just show you what I actually end up taking. So first, first thing I always do is I grab my big bag. Now, a couple of years ago, some of you will remember, I was uh, honored to be invited to participate in a weddings in Woodenville. So I got one of our swag with this really great canvas bag. And it looks really big, and it is really big. But there's a lot of stuff I have to carry with me, so it works out well. This actually fits my laptop in it, which is how great it is. Okay, well, inside my bag right now, besides my laptop and a few books that I'm going to be reading, you know, hopefully if I have some time because I have to travel this weekend, is my big black notebook. Now, this notebook is awesome. It carries um, my black pen. Every officiant in the state of Washington needs to have a black pen. The certificate is supposed to be completed and signed in black ink. State's very particular about that says so on the form. So you always want to make sure you have a black pen. Um, mine also has my credentials. I've got my credentials down here. I've got a badge. I've got a copy of my certificate. So just in case anybody needs to see my credentials at any point, I have them here with me. Um, I take my client's file with me. It has a copy of their paperwork. And then after they sign their marriage certificate, because the officiant is required to submit the uh, signed marriage certificate to the state, to the county auditor where, um, where they got it. Um, I always put it inside the client's file so it doesn't get lost. Um, inside here in this lovely handy dandy notebook, I also have a little peachy, which I'll tell you about in a second. I told you about my credentials and some photos, but mostly the biggest thing in here is I've got little plastic sheets. Now, again, just like when you're in the Pacific Northwest and you need to make sure you have a coat or an umbrella or boots and be ready for the weather, I also need my wedding script to be ready for the weather. I want my pages to not get wet and all mushy, so I just put them in here in plastic. And it seems to work pretty well. I've been in some pretty rainy situations and the ceremony scripts have come out okay. So the peachy, now this is kind of something I've developed over time. So do a lot of outdoor weddings and sometimes there's a picnic table available, sometimes there's not. Sometimes we need to write just on this as our table. But as you're signing a piece of paper, you can imagine that if the surface below the piece of paper isn't just right, you can rip the paper and you don't want to rip the marriage certificate. So what I have found, this is trial and error, um, if you're writing on wood, it rips the paper. If you're writing on leather, sometimes it's too soft, it can rip the paper. So get this pretty little peachy which looks nice in photos and you write on top of this 
on the table or on the binder, it doesn't rip the paper. So. That's the notebook. The handy dandy notebook goes to every wedding with me. <clears throat> Some other things I need to bring. Receipt book. You never know. If the client hasn't already paid their final balance, which in my business, I allow them to do that right before the wedding. Um, usually they pay by credit card and through PayPal or whatever, but sometimes they want to pay by cash or by check and, I, and I'm okay with that. So I want to make sure I give them a receipt. Have their gift. Now, gifts come in all shapes and sizes depending upon the couple. So um, this one's a little bit smaller, but it's, uh, it's special and I get one for each couple. Um, they're honoring me by allowing me to celebrate their wedding with them. And the least I can do is give them a gift. <laughs> um, one other thing. We're going to be outdoors. Now, I don't need this for this particular wedding, but I will need one coming up and I often need it. Is my handy dandy little microphone headset and amplifier. Um, I have a pretty loud voice and those of you who know me know that <laughs> and I can be heard over large groups of people. I used to work as a summer camp counselor and as a teacher um, but I want people in the back of a group even in a small group to be able to hear the wedding ceremony. If they've come to the ceremony it's because they want to see the couple get married and they want to hear what's being said. They want to hear the story. They want to hear the vows as much as possible. So I make sure that I have I try to make sure now that I have a microphone and an amplifier that can be heard. Um, this is fairly new for me, so it's pretty exciting. It doesn't go, like I said, it's not going this weekend because this is just an elopement. There's there's only four other people besides myself that are going to be there, um, so I don't need the microphone. But I do have it for all my other ceremonies. Um, I've also started for my elopements using this little journal. And I'm so excited because I think it's so pretty. I uh, found it at uh, one of my the venues that I do a lot of weddings at, at Mountain Springs Lodge in their gift shop. And the first time I saw it, I thought, oh, you know, fair bit of money, I'll just wait. I don't need it. But then the next time I was there, I was like, I got to have it. It's so pretty. So it's a little sparkly, purple. Fits my, fits my personality just fine. And I use it. I've actually started taking the ceremony scripts that I print out a copy of and put in my big notebook, which I always use as a backup. <clears throat> now I print it on smaller size pages and put it inside the journal so that as I'm standing there, I can have the journal rather than a big notebook that I'm holding in front of the ceremony. So that's kind of exciting. Um, let's see what else. Oh, headset. This is one thing you're going to be really impressed with. Some of you who are as old as I am or who have pets, you'll know what this is. Get the cat hair off because cat and dog hair travels with you even if your pets don't. And no matter how many times I seem to wash my clothes and that my cat doesn't ride in the car very often and we clean it out, his orange cat hair travels with me. So I want to make sure that I always have a way to get that off of my clothes before the wedding ceremony. Um, let's see, I have a journal. And like I said, I have my book and I also have some paperwork in there because I am working on my marketing plan for 2021. So I'll get some work done in between time. So that's really it. I just wanted to show you some behind the scenes, you know, things that I need to bring. Now that doesn't include the clothes or the shoes or anything else, but that's just the things that will go in my main wedding bag. Um, if you have any questions, sure, put them down in the chat. I'd love to see, I'd love to answer them. And uh, if you know of anybody who's looking to get married in 2020 before the end of the year um, or 2021 and who is interested in an outdoor wedding in the Pacific Northwest and specifically an elopement or an intimate wedding and is looking for an officiant, have them shoot me a message, give me a call. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. You know, we want to find out, you want to make sure that all of your wedding professionals are a good fit with your personality and your needs and not the right fit for everybody, but I can certainly help find somebody if you need me to. All right. Well, it is great to be back here and get to see you. And I'm sure I'll be back soon with another video. I'll try and get some more schedule. I just wanted to check in, say hi, and uh, yeah, show you what I've been up to. Teresa. Nice to see you. Another use for that journal would be for the couple to write down their thoughts on the elopement. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Might get an interesting collection of exciting feelings. You might. Absolutely. I'll think about that. 
one of the things I find is that they're always so excited. They barely can sign the paperwork before they're off and running, but I like that idea. I'll have to think about that. That's a great idea. Thanks. And thanks for watching. I love it. All right, my friends, take care. Good to see you. And uh, Cheryl, I'll see you again soon. Bye.